Hey, um, I'm going to talk to you today about two books that you might like if you like The Catcher in the Rye. Um, the first book um, I'm not really going to go into much detail about because it's been covered quite a lot here um, is The Perks of Being a Wallflower. Also, I've lost my copy so I can't, you know, life. Um, yeah, um, for Perks, I think you can find quite a few similarities sort of between Charlie and Holden. Um, I tend to think of it, Charlie is more, is like quite an, is a more innocent version of Holden, like as if he was Holden before Holden got the sort of intense bitterness about the world, because Charlie a lot of the time doesn't seem to understand all these things that are going wrong. And, but yeah, um, I think there's some, some similarities as well, like actually in the books about the, how both the characters are like, presumably sexually abused and things like that and um Catcher in the Rye is actually mentioned in Perks Being Wallflower as Charlie's favourite book which you know so there's quite a few links between that I think I actually I read it the other way around I read The Catcher in the Rye because of reading Perks so it's good I, I think you can yeah you can make connections between them um the one I'm going to talk more about is this book called Death of a Superhero by Anthony McCartan. Um, I saw this um, last year as part of the Young People's Film Festival, a film of it. A really good film, um, actually. I liked it a lot. Um, quite quite different to the book in some respects, but the book um, the book is essentially about a sort of teenage boy called Donald, um, who um, who's sort of very very ill from leukemia. But again, like The Fault in Our Stars, it's not, that's not meant to be like the main purpose of the book. It's not like a cancer book, necessarily. It's just, he has a sort of really, he has Holden's really bitter attitude towards life. Like, like Holden, he seems to see through all the phony pretenses of things like that. And he really kind of, yeah, really bitter, quite dark, actually. I really, it's really good. So that's the sort of the connections between the two. There's also like actual incident in this, in this book, which I think the author probably got the inspiration from the capture in the rye was it's another moment when like Holden he sort of he pays to see a prostitute but doesn't actually do anything sexual with her like Holden just wanted to talk to her um and Donald drew her actually which is nice the good thing yeah the actual story is well about as he gets increasingly ill um he also he draws like really well like comic comic drawings, superheroes and so that, but his superhero he created is a really like, almost like a sort of anti-hero, he's like a really vulgar, disgusting like farts and I don't know, immature, pathetic sort of superhero rather than the, the glamorous American, you know, lycra, Kendall versions, superheroes, yeah, he's a bit of a, a bit of a bastard, the superhero, but as, as the boy gets increasingly ill, he sort of, he draws out his sort of problems, his issues, like, communicates them through his drawings. So not like showing, it's just for himself, he's just, he's quite bitter, but it's just a really nice part of it. It's also, um, it's written like, um, play, like a play talk, like it has the names and then the dialogue, which, you know, that's just a nice, a nice thing in it that makes it, gives it a bit of an edge. Um, yeah, and it's more, the sort of the story is about his relationship with his psychologist, who's, trying to uh, help him because it's a life-threatening leukemia but he, he could pull through but he's just not fighting because sort of like like Holden he's just you know he doesn't care enough like he just doesn't really understand why this life is so brilliant that you want to put in all that effort it's better just to yeah just to go for it um these are good books I made this video last week and I don't know, I kind of did it stupid. I thought I'd uploaded it, and then it wasn't there, so... I don't know. So I guess I'm kind of cheating, because I've just made the same video twice. But I'm currently in my yearly um, hibernation mode, where I just crawl in my bed and read everything Harry Potter. So next video will be a supercharged Harry Potter video. I expect like 50 amazing facts and religious imagery. and I don't know. Hopefully. Yeah, it'll be, I'll, I'll do a super video to make up for the non-existent video, which I thought was there, so, uh, five minutes, bye.